Well, good morning. It's the 2nd of September. Um, I have psychology on my mind uh, right now. I'm thinking back to the time when I was hiking through the Smokies, uh, stopped for lunch, and uh, at that point, I was carrying my tent on, strapped on top of my backpack. Took that off to get into my food bag, ate lunch, took off. Um, an hour or two later, I had been thinking again and again and again, what would it feel like if my tent fell off of my backpack? You know, the straps got loose. In the back of my mind, I knew I didn't have my tent on top of my pack. Sure enough, I felt up there and, oh, I don't have it. Where is it? I'm just going to have to go back. I have no idea. Uh, I had to backtrack miles. Today, got a nice shuttle out from, from the Trail Angel from... Uh, from Trout Lake, um, didn't make it a hundred meters down the trail and before I realized I did not have my backup battery charger and my, uh, and my, um, and my charger itself, but they're still hooked up at the grocery store. So here I am back at the trailhead trying to hitch into Trout Lake um go pick it up and you know be on my come back here uh, later today fortunately uh i didn't have much in the way of a uh, long long uh, goal for today so i uh, should be back on the trail a little bit later maybe this afternoon hope you're having a good day so i've restarted uh, after an abortive attempt to leave Trout Lake, um, which I forgot my phone charger, had to run into town. Got shuttled out by the same very nice lady. Uh, so here I'm at one of the first water sources here. Wonderful little cascade heading down, bridge over with the PCT. Uh, but I'm going to have a little minute here, sort of silent meditation. Um, so it was about five days ago, I guess, a through hiker from Germany, northbound, whom, whom I never met, uh, was hiking through here and uh, was killed right here when that tree fell on him. Completely random event. It's not heard of falling or couldn't react fast enough, maybe because he was on the bridge. But, you know, a little. Someone else has put up some flowers. I'm gonna have a little uh, sit down here and, uh, you know, remember him uh, and think about how fleeting life can be uh, and that we gotta, you know, I don't know what I'm gonna think about, but I'll, I'll, I'll remember him. I'll remember him here. been hiking for a mile or two now in uh, areas that have been uh, struck by fire looks like it's some years ago now uh, but even so you still can get some great views I'm expecting even more of Mont Adams which is what we're looking at here the uh, PCT basically approaches it from the south swings around the western side and uh, all the way around and sort of departs the area from directly on the other side of Mont Adams from I think where I am right now. So let's take a look and see what we got. Well, I'm on uh, some of the lower slopes of Mount Adams looking back south, uh, Mount Hood. Further along uh, into Oregon still in the distance. Whoa! Oh! Wait a minute. Uh-oh. Uh, holy smokes. I thought that was a cloud. 
That's not a cloud. That's gotta be Rainier. Oh my. Well, I'm not sure that that other mountain that I started with was Mount Hood either. Wow. Oh. Mount Rainier. I made a model out of wax, a 3D model out of wax using U.S. Geological Survey topo maps of Mount Rainier. I had it uh, in my room as a boy. I don't know. I don't know why I did that, but I did it. Maybe it was for a seventh grade geography project or something. And then I remember I also had another USGS quad uh, of Mount Rainier on my on my wall, probably through high school. Wow! Well, how surprising is that? Okay. This is a view of the west side of Mount Adams. It's coming around for another view. This is my first good water source in uh, well, several miles. Somebody's down there, setting up a tent. It's only, uh, I don't know, four o'clock. I'm too early for me to stop. It's like a nice place, though. Wow. Hey, everybody. Check that out. Mount Adams. Wow. Look at this great view. So sort of right down the chute here. Guess I'm looking at it from the west, maybe northwest. A little bit. Wow. Very cool. This is what I'm going to have to cross over. It's wet. It's small. I think you saw the hiker there. He made it across. On my way. Well, I made it. <laughs> made it across. Let's take it slow. Those log crossings actually where there are many small logs uh, can be easier and safer than going on a single log, especially if they're wet. You can kind of distribute your weight uh, across more than one at the same time. So that was a pretty good, pretty good log crossing with the stream.